the first thing I want y'all to actually kind of think about is the equipment that you're using to communicate to your dog. Something that I say to a lot of my clients the very first time that I walk into the door is I'm actually telling them that your equipment is your conduit for communication. Like most of us are actually trying to speak English to our dogs in the beginning and that can actually be a problem. The very first time that I actually try, start training a dog, I'm very, very silent. So the first thing that you wanna do is you wanna discover the food that they really like and then simply put the dog on the left-hand side of your body and then begin to feed them. As you begin to feed your Doberman for being on the left-hand side, showing them that the food is gonna come down from your shoulder to your, to their, uh, to your hip, where their head is gonna to have to be pointing straight up at you is actually going to begin to help them to understand that. A lot of people get in a big rush. They buy these really wide collars that they put on their dog and they want to head right out into the neighborhood. And I get that. You know, that's not really a, a terrible thing. But if you really want your dog to walk on a slack leash, I spend quite a bit of time with no distractions around where the puppy is very hungry or the dog is very hungry, simply feeding them for being on my left-hand side. You know, with Gabby, the way that I train Gabby to actually walk with me is I have a hallway here on the other side of my home that every night I was in the hallway, Gabby by my side and me feeding her the entirety of her meal for, for being there. But the first step to teaching your Doberman to walk on the side is to make the left-hand side of your body very, very valuable and to teach them to hold their head up and that's a good place to start.